Well, the universe just saved you. This is Diane Hockman, and I'm starting over. My site's dianehockman.com. Please like, please subscribe, but most importantly, please leave me some comments if you see this. Um, I love the dialogue. So I just recorded a rant. It was 20 minutes long, um, <laughs> and and something happened with uh, my my software, and so it doesn't exist. And maybe that's a very good thing because I was on a ramble. If anybody knows me, if you know me, you know I can talk. Um, but I was talking, and I'll condense it and keep it tight today. Um, and by the way, if you're just joining us, I'm starting over. I've been in business for 22 years, went through a rough divorce, kind of laid down for five years, didn't do a lot. And I'm just talking about the trials and tribulations of what it's like, kind of just re-getting into the game, um, what, what I've been through. Um, and I'm doing that so that those of you that maybe you're new and, um, you know, you got stuff that's holding you back, hearing that somebody who's been doing this for a long time has the same stuff as you might help because we tend to think those people are sparkly and I'm, you know, I'm not good. I'm not this or anybody who's been around the block. Um, and quite frankly, I think we're just in an age of transparency and um, I'm just being super transparent about what it's been like as I get back into, you know, a lot of production of content. I've been doing more TikToks and things and all that good stuff. So <clears throat> my video that got that didn't come out was about what do you do when you see people um, teaching stuff that in your opinion isn't the best path, but you're all colleagues, you all work together. Um, and just to be clear, I am not talking about anybody in particular because this happened at my MLM. It happened when I worked for an agency. It happened, it's happened everywhere under the sun. And my dilemma isn't what anybody's teaching or saying because it works for them they're not they're teaching it for a reason my dilemma is i, I want to speak my word um what i believe what's worked for me my truth and i don't want it to be interpreted as saying that something else doesn't work or somebody's incorrect or etc now i don't know if you've ever felt like this but i remember um in my first mlm my second upline, like my grandma, she was incredibly aggressive, okay? The woman was like, we, we, it, the organization was in New York and she was just like, if you were new, she was on top of you and she was pushing you to make this big order. She was incredibly aggressive. Now, back in the day, I was a newbie that scared me. I didn't know anything about sales, so it frightened me. And part of that was me because the truth is the best positioning for the person was at that level. They'd make more money if they intended to hang around. But it made me feel incredibly uncomfortable. I know it made my prospects feel incredibly uncomfortable. And I didn't want to do it. So I just didn't bring people to her or near her. I tried to avoid her at all costs. And then basically they started saying stuff about me that I said stuff about. I never said anything. I just didn't like her method. I didn't like her process. Now, she was much more successful than me at the time. She was closing deals every single day. She was at one of the top ranks in the company. It clearly worked for her. It clearly worked for her. It just didn't feel right to me. And then you have to sit and you really got to look at yourself, guys, in this business and go, all right, is it my ego? Is it that I don't want to do the work? Is it lazy or is that just not my process and just not what I want to endorse and what I want to teach. Um, today, after 22 years, I have created processes and they are 100% different than what most people do. I don't approach people. I don't, I, I'm a hardcore attraction marketer taught by a master. I don't do a lot of the things that are taught in the marketplace. Um, and I don't do them for a reason. It's not because I'm lazy. It's not because I don't, care about people, you know, like people tell you, if you don't prospect them, you don't care about them. That's bullshit. They're not a prospect. They didn't indicate they're a prospect. So that's what I was rambling about, but I rambled for a long time because I have a lot of training coming up and I want to train what I literally do. I did one yesterday. I did, um, somebody was having a summit and they came on and they asked me to talk about affiliate marketing. And I think I went in a direction they didn't expect. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he'll see this. 
Um, in fact, he had this like nervous look on his face the whole time. What I was doing was teaching people about how this exists all over. Um, it's in the real world. It's all around us. I try to show my inspiration, how I learned all of this, how I looked at real stores and malls and supermarkets and shoe stores and all of these things to learn this stuff. But I think he thought I was just going to talk about, you know, affiliate marketing biz ops, like, you know, like biz ops, MLM, and not MLM, but, uh, you know, biz ops. And I didn't. I talked about affiliate marketing in a much larger spectrum, showed how it works out in the real world, and then showed how to find affiliate programs for, for, for everything under the sun, talked about influencer marketing. And I think it frightened the people at first. Because it was like, and, and, and people tend to say to me, that's so much information. What do you want? Candy? Candy coated, you know, candy coated everything? No, let's, let's look at what the real mechanics are. But to me, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of information because this is how it works in the real world. So I just look at it and I go, well, a store works like that. Why not work like this? So should I have done it the other way? Should I have done it the way that maybe people want? Should I have, or should I have done what I did by the end? I think people were pretty excited. Um, should I speak differently or, or give different, you know, should I candy coat it, sugar coat it, or should I just talk the real deal and let the people sort themselves? And should I worry that somebody might be offended that my version of how to do it is different than theirs, or should I not worry about it at all? Um, these are the dilemmas. And these are the same dilemmas that people have when they're new. Should I talk to my friends and family? Shouldn't I? Should I ask them to buy or shouldn't I? Should I, you know, post on my social media feed? Should I post on my Facebook wall or shouldn't I? I don't want anybody to know I'm in business, but I want to be in business. You know, all of these dilemmas are the same dilemmas, same dilemmas. You know, after 22 years, I, I mean, I even have a very, very, very dear friend right now just restarting some, some business stuff and I disagree with them. Does it mean it won't work for them? No. Does it mean it's not right for them? No. I just look at it and it's, it's not marketing that I would do. So am I supposed to tell them? I mean, I'm, I'm very, you know, I look at marketing as marketing. So if I see something and I think it's going to work and convert, I don't care if it's my style or I like it. I just look at it. I know it's going to convert. I mean, guys, you could take me to, we could look at marketing for cow milking machines. <laughs> doesn't matter. Look, I, I don't have cows and I've never milked a cow, but I could look at the marketing and get into the head of the, the cow owner and think about whether the marketing would work. I, when I look at marketing, I either feel like it, it's going to work or it's not going to work. Well, am I supposed to not tell them what I think? I don't know because I'm starting over and I'm plotting my way and I'm communicating the best I can and being transparent and sharing that these dilemmas sit in everybody's heart, not just yours. Should I write the letter? Should I say what needs to be said? Or should I, you know, do lollipops and rainbows? Should I find that mix in the middle, which is usually where I land? Um, anyway, that's it for today. Let me know, you know, do you, do you like to be straightforward or have you worked with people that you disagreed with their methods? I've, I've worked with many people that I've disagreed with their methods, but again, it doesn't mean they're wrong. Especially, and, and by the way, this is what I always look at. The numbers tell the truth. The numbers tell the truth. If their numbers beat your numbers, the numbers tell the truth, right? And then your personal style, and, you know, we all have different personalities. If you've ever studied personality types, et cetera, some things are meant for some people and some people, some things are meant for other people. Um, but there's also methods that just work. And I just look at the numbers. But when I see something being taught and the numbers aren't there. And, and, and then I see people getting on board with that. It's just like, what do you do? Get on my own soapbox in my own corner, in my own platform and teach what I know. If you'd like to hear more about what I know, go over to dianehockland.com, put in your name and email, please like, please comment. I, I mean, my, my Facebook views are all up and all this other good stuff. I mean, not Facebook, YouTube, I know this is a little playlist and this is not meant for everybody and clearly I'm not trying hard to look cute, but it is my just hardcore thoughts and I know that some people uh, would find them helpful. So 
Um, give a subscribe if, if it's powerful. Watch the whole playlist if it's powerful. And I will see you guys next time. It's Diane Hockman, and I'm starting over. Take care.